The child starts from rest and travels a four meter distance to reach the bottom of the slide. If the average friction on the child is two fifths the child's weight, with what speed does the child reach the bottom of the slide? the non-conservative force that's doing work is the friction. So this equals the change in total mechanical energy which is the final minus the initial. In this case the frictional force is given as the two-fifths the child's weight. So we'll have to relate this work energy theorem to the work equation so we can use the force. So this is the frictional force times the displacement times cosine the angle between the two. The frictional force is two-fifths the child's weight, mg. We don't know the mass, but hopefully the mass will cancel. Friction does work over the distance four meters. The friction takes energy away and turns it into heat over this entire distance, four meters. The distance or the displacement here is not the two meters height. So the d over here is four. What do you think is the angle between the friction and the displacement? At any moment, friction will go up the slide when the displacement goes down the slide. So even though the direction changes, the friction and the displacement are always in opposite directions. So this angle at any moment when the child slides down is 180. And this equals to the final mechanical energy minus the initial mechanical energy. The final mechanical energy is when the child is at the bottom of the slide and we're looking for the speed. So the child may be moving and we're looking for that speed. So there may be 1 half m d squared. Down here, if I say this is the ground, then there is no mgy. minus the initial mechanical energy. For the initial mechanical energy, the child starts from rest, so there is no one-half mv squared. This is zero. The child is up high. If I use the ground here, that means the child is two meters above the ground. So it's mgy is two meters. Now every leftover term has uh, m, so the mass cancels. So this over here is 2 fifths times g times 4, cosine 180 is negative 1. And then on this side I have 1 half v squared minus g 10 times 2. If you solve for v, you'll get v is the square root of 8, which is about 2.83 meters per second. Of course, you don't have to use this work energy theorem equation. You can just use the idea of conservation of energy. See, the energy the child gets at the end is the energy the child has at the beginning minus the loss. And initially, the child was uh, up high, so there's the mgy. The loss will be the amount of energy taken away by friction. So it will be friction times the displacement. Just the amount part is uh, the force, 2 fifths mg times the displacement 4 meters. This would equal to the final mechanical energy at the bottom of the slide, the child only has one half m v squared. So cancel the m and then solve for v, you'll get exactly the same thing.